a rather embarrassing situation. And um, I'm going to trust you not to tell anyone. I'm just calmly going to get dressed and pretend that this disaster never happened. Easy. Okay, that's all equipped correctly. Let me put on... Um... Flashbangs put down here. My taser. And just some massive grenades there. Now, I'm weighed down by... some stuff, so let me just throw things that I might not need for the time being onto the ground. There we go. Okay. Can I cure this with, like, an antidote? Yeah. And then let's bandage ourselves. We're going to need to re anyway, because our psionic item got taken away and we lost um, pyrokinesis so we're going to innervate and then we're going to go back to our inventory and we're going to go here and we're going to just do some massive drugs after that <laughs> we're going to um, charge our shield and, oh gosh, so many of my items got taken away from my hotbar because of getting wrecked. So let me just fix this so that a reasonable amount of my things, my Omni tool, um, bandages, definitely. I could just, you know, put this here and that there for now, and that's fine. All right. Okay. So let me save it now that we're dressed and patched up. And then we're going to come out and, um, well, we're going to continue just taking everything that she's got because, you know, we should... And then we're going to go turn in the evidence to... I don't know who will ever will listen about this. You've got a murdering woman on your hands. All right, this trap door goes... Um, oh, right, right, right. This is where I was. Down into their bunker. Very nice bunker. And, oh, I already looted this. You got any good food? Yeah, you do. Okay. And we have some other stuff here we could sell. But I might never want to return. All right, let's go, uh... Let's go tell the mayor. I'm ready. Mayor, um, I found evidence of a bad lady. Please hear me out. Um, oh, cool. Mayor, what is it now? Um, I heard you have problems with some mind creatures. Is there anything I can do to help? I'm sure you did, but please, let me tell you something. Foundry is one of the richest and best def defended stations in Lower Underrail. We have so many well-trained and well-armed men and women to take on anyone who tries to disturb us. Why would we need your help? I am the Invictus. What? 
Arena, do you watch it? Not since Carnifex began slaughtering everything, it got predictable. Besides, you and Invictus? Please, um, I killed Carnifex. Um, well, I come from Southgate Station and I've helped them deal with a number of difficult problems in the past. It's what I do. If that's what you say, you do realize I can't exactly trust any random person that walks into my office, do you? Um, okay, you've got it all under control. Do you need help with anything? Um, alright, goodbye. Dude, I'd like to talk about Evelyn Ingram. He pauses for a moment. Yes, what about her? I found evidence that she's a murderer. Take a look at this. Chief carefully examines the files from the drive. You wait for him while he does so, but it doesn't take long for him to return to you. This is serious. We've had some people gone missing lately, but most of these disappearances were attributed to creatures from the mine. I'll send a few men to her home at once. Is there anything else I need to know? Um, she's dead. I had to kill her in self-defense. I'll send some men to see what's going on. You wait here with me. Look, dude. She's got a murder factory. Unbelievable. A hidden bunker full of corpses. I can't believe Evelyn, out of all people, was capable of committing such monstrous murders. You're lucky to have managed to save your hide there. My men have found her corpse and are still on the scene of the crime. You're free to go. You acted in self-defense. Um, oh, he gives you money. You save lives by exposing her, and for that, here's a small reward. Um, are there any jobs available? As a matter of fact, I believe I might have something for you. What's that? Very good. You are, I presume, familiar with the Iron Heads, one of the largest gangs in Lower Underrail. I am. I've killed many. Well, one of their clans is causing a lot of trouble to Foundry and the whole region. These scum, and that is what they are, believe me in my glowing green eyes, are being led by a man who calls himself Baylor, a man known for two things, his immense physical strength and a sinister and red cybernetic eye. Oh my god. And unfortunately for us, I suppose his successful leadership can be added to that list. Now, you only said two things. You, you said two things. Now you're adding three. Chief, I need you to get it together. You gotta be upfront with me here. Is there a fourth thing that you need to tell me about? I'm gonna tell you what, dude. I killed the Rat Hound King and Carnifex. I ain't worried about no Baylor. We, Foundry, have placed a bounty on his head for 1,000 Charons. If you can bring me his eye... As proof, the money's all yours. I've got it right here. Um, what can you tell me about Baylor and where I can find him? Not much is known about him. Some say that he is over two meters tall, some that he can snap a rat hound's spine in two with one hand, and some even report him flinging broken off stalagmites at his enemies. A boss, to use a colloquial expression. Of course, some of these claims are outrageous, but one seems consistent. He's more often than not described as wielding a sledgehammer so heavy only he is able to lift it. As one story goes, he even offered one disarmed train guard the chance to use the hammer against him, but the fellow might as well have been trying to raise a boulder. As for where to find him, his clan is situated in Warehouse Block Beta, south of the Foundry. The Ironhead activity in that area is quite heavy, and all of the recent attacks came from that direction. If he's there, he has some of the best security in South Underrail. Um, I'll do it. Very good. Best of luck. And remember, bring me his eye as proof. Okay, so he said it's in South Underrail. Let me see if I can get any more info out of him. Oh. He also wants me to do a recon mission. I was... The Foundry Guard have spotted someone... A group of Faceless just west of here, okay? We've been observing them for some time, but their intentions are not yet clear. I want you to try and find out what they're up to. Nothing else. Your reward will be 100 Charons if you accomplish, accomplish the job. Um, I want to talk about something else. Uh, about Baylor. Uh, where is it? It's south of here. But to reach it, you'll have to go west and then south, or east and then south from the entrance. Okay. Um, let's talk about something else. Um, I need to go... Okay, let me accept the other mission. Oh. Did I accept both missions? Okay. Okay. Well, the quest log actually tells me pretty reasonably where to go, so great. Let's do this. We're going south of the Foundry first. 
Whoa, look at this downstairs. Man, I have not explored that. I think this area is a shop. Or maybe they just are security or something. I, I went in there before. It's been a while. Let's talk to him. West, what you got? I'm interested in buying that electronic workbench with all the integrated equipment. Oh yeah, for my house. This one? I'm using that. I need it. Um, just name the price. His stare becomes glued to the workbench as he considers your words. With each passing second, you become more and more sure that he is indeed going to name a price. There's a lot of expensive tools in that thing. If I were to sell it, it'd have to be for no less than 1,200 carats. Yes, that's what I'm asking for. Um, what do you got? Let me, let me see if I can... First of all, how much money do I have? I have 3.5. Yeah, I'll buy it. What are you going to buy? You want a blueprint? I got blueprints, dude. Uh, let me sort my stuff. Or I did have a blueprint. Years ago. I don't know what happened to it. Um, oh, you'll buy two energy weapons, though. Now we're on to it. Oh, that's my laser pistol. Let me give him Junko and um, Skunko here. Oops, not this. All right, I was just taking it off. Yeah, 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 here you go. All right, I know these blueprints. Um, this mining helmet is actually pretty sweet. Most of the stuff he sells is for shooting. Oh, I gotta use that on myself. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Yeah, he doesn't have anything even remotely close to what I'm looking for. Um, let me just sell you a, a bad gun. And then... He's gonna buy three of these. Oh. One blueprint, two energy weapons, three parts, and one device. It looks like he says he buy three parts. What is going on here? Alright, he will. I just had to split him up like this. Okay. There we go. Okay, pretty good. Now let me buy your thing. Let me buy your bench. About the workbench. Um, let's do it. Good, I'll help you carry it out of the store, but it's a bit fragile. I'm not carrying it. I'll see it to it that Core City Housing delivers it to my house. All right, goodbye. Cool. I'm just buying stuff for my house at this point, just for decoration. Because I can. Oh, let me use my mentor. It's down here. Bam. I learned Entropic Recurrence. What does that even do? Whoa. Repeats 169% of the last unit of damage taken by the target over four turns. That's actually great. Because, like, you know, if I use something and it has a cooldown, then I can repeat that. But I wonder, like, you know, Telekinetic Punch or something, which does a ton of damage. But I wonder if... You know, if I do a metathermic, if it will trigger my, um, ability that basically discounts the next heat or cold spell that I cast, thermodynamicity or whatever it is. That's interesting. I'll have to experiment with that one. I'm happy to get it. And I'm happy to have a new place to do quests. They wouldn't listen to me here before. You know, they're like, we don't care that you're the Invictus. We don't care about anything. Oh, you killed Evelyn? You're in. And to be honest, um, I was all embarrassed about getting captured by Evelyn, but it turned out to be good. I wonder, just for clarity, if you don't try to seduce her or hit on her, like, if you can just walk away, or if she 
overpowers you anyway, like insists on you taking a drink or something like that. Anyway, I'm going this way. I'd like to just tell myself that to pretend that there was nothing I could do, but I know that my own foolishness were to blame. It's going to be funny, though. Like, I know there's probably not any romantic interest in this game, but, you know, you're going to meet... Like, let's say I meet some woman, and she's like, why won't you let me, get, you know, get close to you? I'm like, I'm sorry, I just can't trust anyone after Evelyn. Uh, you are a wounded man. What's up, dude? Please help me, says the man as he reaches for you with a bloodied arm, his fingers spread wide. You see numerous wounds on his body, open and wounding. Wow, he looks kind of like, um... Michael J. Fox in the radiation suit from Back to the Future. Um, each one a partial contributor to the large red pool in which he stands, but it is the wound you don't see that's the most threatening, the one which he firmly presses with his other trembling hand. Um, stand still while I, while I bandage your wounds. Thank you. All right, dude, let's talk. Please don't leave me here to die. What, what happened? The lurker, bastard, ambushed me. Help. Um... All right, can I bandage you again? Thank you. All right, I like I bandage you more. Why do he never gets the chance to finish his sentence as his body drops lifeless next to the man whom he killed, the man who killed him? Oh God, I tried to help. I really did. Let me just take the money. Bullet strap belt. Wow, that's a really good belt you got there, dude. Got nice ammunition. You were a pretty well off individual. Alright. We're going south. We're going to try to get to the bottom of this. Um, can I blow up these rocks? I can't. We're going stealth. We're stealthing up. We're creeping around. Okay. Ironhead Heavy Gunner. Yep. There's the Iron Heads for you. So they said I need to go south. So I will. And it was east it was either east and then south or west and then south and I'm going oh man. I might just go around the other way so I don't have to kill dogs, but I have a feeling that that's just gonna be inevitable. Alright, so Ironhead Commando. Okay. This is my gift and um, you can also have this one okay oh they're coming for me boy I really wish that I had my shield up <laughs> I did do a good job okay how do I get out of this one We heal. We... Stun. And then, can I pre-med a... Hmm, how many AP do I have? 18. There we go. That worked out well. Let me use uh, that, and then I guess I'll walk over here and see how many there are. We'll just wait. Oh my goodness, there's another one. All right. So we have, um, let me just see. I don't want to do anything. I want to just right click on them to, to make sure I can see. How, there's one turn left, okay. All right, so let's see if I can burn down this guy. What do you think about cryokinesis? How do you feel about it? Okay, well then, what about telekinetic punch? What is the... What's your opinion? That is your opinion. I like it. Alright, then we're gonna just reduce the cooldowns. Walk over here. Wait. They're back. And... Oof. 
How much time do I... Okay, I can use it because of the cooldown reducer. Man, this limited temporal increment is, like, one of the best abilities. Okay, let me just drop this on you. See how you feel about it. You really feel terrible about it. Um, and I can end combat and just be happy. All right, so we just took out a bunch of people. Feeling strong. I like it. Let me bandage myself. Okay, let me turn off my shield and charge my shield. And let me save my game and just kind of stroll around like I just killed your Iron Head Patrol, which I do feel good about, but I am a little worried that there's more traps around here and my perception is bad. Oh, shotgun shells. Man, they, you got the good stuff. Vindicator, yeah, we'll take that. No, we won't take that, but I'll pretend to take that. I'm going to have to make a separate pile of, like, iron head loot here. Yep, that's worth money. Okay. So I'm just going to walk very, very slowly so I can see this easily for myself. Uh, we're going to just drop this. And, um... Oh, this is my pistol. And then we can drop this. Oh, that's right. I, I had all this stuff on me because my plan was to go around selling things to different merchants. But then I got distracted by the whole Evelyn incident and it did not go well for me. Um, I mean, eventually it did. So anyway, I'm just going to drop some of this stuff right here and then I'm gonna go to the map and I'm gonna just put a note that says uh, large pile of weapons to sell by barriers and bodies there we go so now I can remember that that's there for us all right let's go in here oh man look at this room I love this space. Oh, man. I keep holding out hope against hope that there's going to be a better side booster in the game. And there just probably isn't. And I just need to come to terms with that. All right. It's not a bad item there. Yeah, there's some good stuff, too. Come on now, don't lock your locker. Nice. I also have thought that I could just go to the military base at some point and just blow everybody away in there and sell all of their weapons over several trips, just teleporting in and out using Mushroom Brew, spreading the money all around town. It's it's a good plan, it really is. Um, somebody eats corpse I didn't check. There's a commando over here, but it's it's hard to select their body. Where did it go? Oh, they're like right on the same square. There we go. Oh, you got a flashbang and a battery. I like your stuff. All right, I'll take your gun. Okay, great. All right. Let me kind of just meander over here. Yep. Wow, you know, my perception, I've gotten a little bit better at detecting these traps, and it's its wonderful. We'll save it. Walk over here. Okay. This looks too good to be true. Okay. Looking for oddities here. Interesting little section of map. Alright, we're going south. Rat hounds. Okay, well. I don't really care about rat hounds. I'll check these barrels. Nope, no oddities. Okay. So, can I get around these rat hounds? I mean, 
I don't suspect that the iron heads are going to have anything to do with rat hounds, so maybe we go this way and just try to try to go around. Like I don't think the iron heads are going to be through a rat hound cave. That doesn't look right. Iron head smasher. Now that looks right. Junk pile. Shiv. I left my shiv in the junk pile. In case that anything goes down, I'm ready. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'm going too far south if I go past them or not. Looks like there's a door here, though. All right, let me save it. I don't know what the right way is. Okay. Oh, God. Here they come. Well, let's talk to them very nicely about um, cry cryokinetic orb. Okay. And then I can explain all about telekinetic punch. And then pre-med this and then that. Pretty good. Let me just end combat. I'm just kind of. Oh no! Oh no! I made a mistake. There, we're entering the base proper. They're doing. Oh my gosh! This is it, people. Did you see? They're doing all zero damage because of my galvanic anti-rival rifle overcoat that just is insane against guns. Two hundred percent against guns with a twenty-two base mechanical resistance means I'm not concerned at all about what they are trying to do. And it's funny. Alright, let me just do this. Uh, I could just pre-med Enrage. Yeah, you know, or I'm sorry, Locus of Control Enrage on them. I think it's a good idea. All right, so this dude resisted. Came up like complete gangbusters, but that's okay. Let me turn on my shield. Do I have enough to walk up and tase this guy? No, 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 I don't. Well, how much, I, what do I have left? Four action points? Okay, um, that's bad. But let's see what happens when they fight. <laughs> They're fighting each other. Oh, God. Well, they stunned the other enraged guy. That's not what's supposed to happen. Simon Perez. Apparently, I'm going to regret the day I was born, which... I don't know how you can regret something like that, but that's this guy's... Uh, you know, logic. Okay. So, I'm worried about Simon. So, I'm going to just see what cryokinesis does to Simes here. Not bad. And here's a fireball, which... Everyone can have that, and then uh, you can have another cryo, and you're dead. Symes is out. Now, this guy is going to shoot me, of course. Oh, boy. Enrage is happening. Not very good with the gun. All right, we got to turn left of cooldown, so... I think I'll just cryo and then um, step around the corner and just kind of let them fight. Oh, this guy's over here now. All right, give me this. And then, let's see, who is it? The psionic? All right, here, you can have telekinetic punch. And um, is the other guy back there? Yeah, so then we can um, electrokinesis you. And this should stun you and kill the other guy. It did. It did what we wanted. A second wind is not going to be enough. Down. Alright, now can I end combat? I can. Alright, so... Yep, that was pretty successful. Let me turn off my shield. Well, Jean-Luc, Rob, you guys were right about Enrage. It works really well. And this coat 
K was pointing out about anti-bullet coats, and so this is all coming in very handy. This is also because I went did a lot of Core City stuff. Is this might be a little bit below me level wise, which is fantastic. I'm the Invictus, and I feel like the Invictus, which is great. All right, let me save the game. Okay, so let's clean this up. But I do know that because there's like a named person in here that whatever opportunity there may have been to speak to these people is gone. But I don't know what, you know, joining their faction would be like unless you were some kind of crazy, uh, you know, antisocial I don't know. Maybe they're not that bad. Maybe they're like, if I would have just taken the time to get to know them, they're really cool people. Wow, this hammer is unreal. Sells for a lot. Quite heavy. That is their trademark, is that big, giant um, hammer. All right. So, oh, they got some grub. Let me speed myself up a little bit. Yep. Oh. An aluminized balakalaba. Okay, let me just go to the map. Lots of iron head loot here. So, if I ever want to come back and get rich... I can do that. Time to save it. I'm sorry, Simon. It it had to come to this. Oh, you had like an amazing assault rifle. Well, not really that amazing, but um, it's got a custom name. It doesn't sell for as much as I would like, which is a shame. Who was this? Oh, whoever they were. They had some nice grenades. Okay. I wonder if I'm going to encounter some friends around the corner here. Oh, they have a... This was like the security outpost. It's good to find this. All right, take it all. See if we can... That's fine. Turn off their security system. Well, I guess we turned it off in the sense that there's not going to be anyone ever looking at the security anymore because they've all been killed. Where does this look? Right here. Oh, there's the camera up there. So if you try to assault the base, all these people would like burst out and swarm on you. Not anymore. They are gone. All right. Let's just see. Oh, I know you see me, security. But I don't think it matters. All right, there's a gunner. Anybody else over there? Okay. I um, wonder if I could hit that napalm barrel. Right? Like, I wonder if I can just drop a fireball right there and just blow it all up. And the answer is pretty much. This guy made it, though. This guy is like an unbelievable trooper. They were an unbelievable trooper. Here's a little tip. If you're on guard duty, don't stand next to a napalm barrel. It will go badly for you. All right, it's diminishing. Still on fire. We're going to hang out until it's done. Let's have a little bed there, though. And it's diminished even further. One of these... I'm getting warmed up by the napalm. All right, there we go. It's locked. We're in. Napalm C. I'll take bullets. You got... Man. I hate when people don't have the 
the premium health potions. It's just such a shame. All right, check your barrels. This has been pretty oddity free, I'm going to tell you that. All right, here we go. Slip back into stealth mode. Oh, they got a little tent down here. Camping out. I like it. All right. Well, maybe this is further into Iron Headland. Trap detected. Wow. All right. Now let me save it. Okay. Let's go through the ventilation. I'm pretty much notorious for sneaking through the vents as my modus operandus for checking out what's going on. Okay. Oh, I could have gotten there easier. I missed the first entrance. All right, what do we got in here? Wow, this is a really nice ventilation system they got. All right, there's a person. So let's try to avoid them. Hmm. All right. I mean, I could just walk in Terminator style and just take them out one by one. Guess nothing wrong with that approach. Okay. And boy, I don't lower passages. I mean, I hope this is the Iron Head base and I didn't miss it somehow. I don't think that's the case. Could be. Nah, this has got to be it. And again, this isn't looking so good. Trap detected, trap detected. Man, traps detected everywhere. Gasoline. And some money. Alright, get over here. We can definitely pick this lock. Oh, these are lurkers, though. So I am not in the Ironhead territory. <laughs> Their bullets do nothing. It's so funny. All right. I mean, it's not funny for them. They're not happy. They're freaking out, most likely. Now, I was able to do that orb because the way I've experienced orb, if there's a few targets, they will absorb all of the shards, and that is what happened. You are going to take... Um, yeah, I can just end the turn and... Oh! That is malarkey. Did you see that? They had dots on them that should have killed them, but they... The way that... I'm, I learned my lesson. I tried to just wait here and let them die. The way that the sequencing works in this game is they actually get to act before the dots trigger, so they got to heal. Which, I think I've probably experienced that on myself and should have known, but anyway. Funny. They were like, oh man, this guy made a huge mistake, he let me live. No, I, I really didn't. There's a ladder that goes down. Rusty key under passages. Um, interesting. Alright, I'm... I'm overburdened, so I need to drop some stuff. I can easily just drop this gun. Okay. I'm going to turn off my shield. I'm going to turn on the power. And I'm going to... 
Hmm. <laughs> Flimsy shack looks cool. I'm going to just go on my map and say... Um, lurker gear. Ladder down. You know, so I can come back here at some point. This is interesting. It's clearly I've left Ironhead World. Oh, I'm... Oops, I'm like, got my taser selected. I don't want that. How do I turn that off? I just want to... Oh, is all I can do open it? Like, I can't... I could place explosives or something, is what they're telling me here. Um, let me just peek down. What you got? You got dogs. You got steam vents. Hungry dogs? Aw. Yeah, I definitely don't want to be down here. I feel bad for all these dogs. This wasn't my... I don't want to be doing this. What else is down here? There's nothing down here? They just had dogs down here? This is really strange. There's got to be something related to this. Like a quest or something else. It can't just be they were keeping dogs down. I mean, how did the dogs get down the ladder? Can anyone explain that to me? Somebody carried the dogs one by one? I don't think so. Do I have any dynamite on me? Yeah. Let's blow up this shack. Is this overkill? Yeah. Run. Around the corner. But it's going to take it down. You better believe it. And what does it do for us? It gets us through. It did It did nothing. I wasted... It, it helped me avoid the trap room, I guess. But anyway, that was bad. I did 60,000 damage. That's a lot of damage. All right. So really, where we need to be is maybe in this area. I might not even need to be down here at all, though. I might have made a mistake. I might have zigged when I should have zagged. There we go. Just trying to get into combat. Um, I'm just going to... Oh, you're a lurker, too. Yeah, I definitely don't need to be down here. Man, I mean, it's like the Iron Heads. Do you even know that the lurkers are right beneath your feet? Oh, there was somebody over there. Touche. Incapacitated. You know I have Locus of Control, though. It's going to be a very, very bad moment for you. I'm going to give you um, Electrokinesis just to stun you. And then we're just going to go ahead and throw on Cryo... And another one, and that should do it. You gotta admire that Lurker Hunter's dedication, though. Like, always staying in the shadows. Pretty slick. Flashbang is good. Okay. Had some nets. You got any good food here? Oh, it's the eye patch. Yes, there was an oddity. That makes everything worthwhile. I mean, not really, but... Okay. So, I'm going to leave this because this is not Ironhead land. This is Lurker land. Oh, there was a little room there I could have explored. But either way, this just isn't Ironhead place. I think, then, that Ironhead place, maybe it's here? I mean, why were they putting a security camera here, though? To protect... What? Hmm. To protect, like, Simon's area, I guess? But from, I don't know, maybe lurkers coming out of the caves? We're going to find out. Barrels galore. Water. 
That scope is good. Nice and light sells for a lot. Okay. Alright. But even so, I just don't see... Huh. I'm going to have to do some more looking down there for the iron heads. I killed a, a top dog. Oh, that's even better. I right, go over here. I'm just going to keep going south a little bit. I can bandage. Uh-huh. And then stealth up again, save the game. Hmm. Trap detected. Somebody's got rat hounds on retainer. Dead man. Lock picking 80. Okay. All right, I don't know underwear all that well, but I don't think... I think this is just some lone wolf who was trying to raise rat hounds and got killed by them. And I can open this. And fight them and, and see what's going on in here. It's interesting, like, initiative, yeah, 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 but... Uh, I guess I can't pick locks in combat. It's going to be hard to get here. I wonder what would happen if they triggered, but, you know, we can't fight each other. I'll sh I'll try. I don't think that I can, you know... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> okay, yeah. Whatever. I think I just leave. They'll know I'm here. This is not, I went, I've moved away from where the iron heads are for sure. All right, so let's try this again. I'll go in the other door. Honestly, I don't care that I get initiative, you know, that I have to, that I have to fight them with them being aware of my presence, that doesn't bother me. It's just, can I interact with these doors if I'm forever in combat? And I don't, I might not be able to. I don't think you can fire through the fence, even though that doesn't make too much sense. Oh, we, there we go, we got it. Um, we pre-med then this. Oh, how much AP? I have nothing. <laughs> All right, well, then turn on the shield. Here they come. All right, well, pre-med is still up, so let me just hit the big boy with this. And then... I guess I can just drop that right there. That didn't actually hurt them at all. Surprising. Now, now nah, it doesn't look like there's a place I can put this that doesn't hit me. It's too bad. Oh, good God. Fine. The, sometimes these doorways are just a nightmare for line of sight. Okay. Uh-huh. Doing that. And then ending turn. All 
All right. End of combat. What did, what's your story? How to Tame a Rat Hound by James S. Stupid. James Stupid. I love it. And you get three points of experience for this oddity. Are you tired of not being able to control rat hounds? Well, this little book will teach you how to become the greatest rat hound master in the universe. Control rat hounds with only your mind. Don't wait. Try it now. Aww. Poor James. But we got three experience for finding James's body, so... What was this last piece? What is this? Shotgun choke. Oh, it's worth a ton. Great. Yeah. All right. I'm going to just check this square. I know there's nothing over here, but just being thorough. More rat hounds. All right. So I don't really have any desire to fight rat hounds. Let me charge this up. Alright, so I clearly missed some stuff with these iron heads, but the beauty is we found ourselves a bunch of experience from James Stupid. Alright. Let's just, uh, I'm gonna turn off stealth and just run full speed up here. I mean, I don't know what these passages are, but boy, they're extensive. Okay, so I'm going to go back and just try to figure out, like... the warehouse complex south of the foundry. So, I just must have missed it. Like, this this isn't it, right? I came from over here. But I didn't see... I mean, maybe I didn't go far enough south. Why is there a security camera up here to protect this lower area, which was filled with lurkers, not with iron heads? Let me go back. Let me go through here. Let me look for another way. Like... God, these rat hounds? I guess I skipped these rat hounds because I didn't think it was it. Let me look up here, like up the street. Maybe that whole position there... ...of uh, the security camera was just to insulate them from those lurkers from the lower tunnels. Like, that was just a little outpost that they had... Yeah, this is definitely a warehouse district. Here we go. Yeah, that must have just been anti-lurker position. All right. So these guys are on watch, doing their thing. There's a switch, which we'll use to open this door at some point. And I think what I kind of want to do is see if I can sneak over here and start combat. And just try to kill this guy as fast as possible. Like that. And pretend that that was stealth. 
Oh no. I had it for a second, but it does, it's okay, to be honest, it's fine. Alright, Gunner. This first one is just a little window dressing, and then I give you that, and then I can just do another one, and yeah, you're gone. So Hammerman's coming at me. Let me turn on my shield and just accept Hammerman. Oh, he's printed. I love it. I love your enthusiasm to get to the electric chair. It is right here waiting for you. I'm going to give you electrokinesis. Now, this is going to hurt, and it's going to stun you. Okay? I'm going to use this. All right, so this guy is very nearly gone. How much time do I have on this? One turn? Okay. Uh, let's just kind of wait. Here they come, second wind. But I think one of these should do it. In Indeed it did. All right, so the outer guard is gone. We'll just take all this stuff. Thank you. Thank you. I wish you had better stuff, but I'll take it. Now, this is like my house fund, all right? So we're trying to finance the furniture for my home. Okay. So I'm going to then uh, turn off this, recharge this, go stealth, and then save the game. And everyone, it took me a while but we finally found the Iron Head compound. The door has actually been opened. I don't know if this guy flipped the switch or they flipped it from the inside because they heard the gunfire. Whatever is the case, we're going to fight him. And we're going to get into that next time. Uh, we are are doing quite well. We have been accepted by the Foundry, and we've well, we just found some fun little side projects on our way to Iron Head domination and Foundry ingratiation. Take care, everybody.